inspired by uh, H.P. Lovecraft stuff. Who is the main man in the hall? Has anyone seen the oh, do I? Oh, yeah. So slow. Please, scary man, where's a kid? Jumps out of the shadows and beats up useless thugs. You're not useless thugs, you work for the Joker. You just don't have free health care. Actually, just do, do, do you think do you think Joker would provide free health care for? No. His... Well, okay. In the Harley Quinn Mayor, Joker probably because it would make him look good, and he's a a man of the people now. But uh, uh, this oh, one yeah. probably. And the, and the, oh, and the new Harley Quinn. In the new Harley Quinn, yeah, <laughs> which is a fantastic series. I mean, as long as he set up some kind of horrible twist to to it, I'm oh, sure. I no, was Brandon, just gonna say, it's, it's like there's Brandon, no way he's gonna go. It what? was. Evil twist, remember? Oh, yeah, you kind of look at Evil twist. So what do you think? So what do you think of Joker's voice in the Harley Quinn animated series? Um, it's a nice mix of Mark and some of the other guys that have done it, so it, it's very appropriate for that show. I began my day. Wayne Tech promised me an electric car last year. I put it above that seat. Where the fuck is my car? Yeah, the car. I got to have electric car, Bruce. Yeah, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't fantastic. Care, he doesn't care that you know. Through dripping Bruce, red yeah, Batman is no. He's more concerned about his goddamn electric car. Yeah. Oh, that was all that. St yeah, that's a great series. And you know, if it wasn't for games like this, if it you wasn't for you know uh, Dark Knight Returns, you. you know, some of the stuff to keep Batman in the popular eye and, and stuff, and it's always being retold, which is which is really interesting, considering. How many re retellings of origins there have been or reintroductions of characters that Batman still perseveres? And and I don't know why, because unlike, say, well, Spider-Man's got his powers and stuff. I don't know if it's the relatability that, you know, if you two had money and all that stuff, that that would be your superpower and you could do this kind of stuff and keeps it relevant or that he tackles semi-real world stuff or that hype of reality. But it all works, you know, and Harley Quinn has no business at all being as good of a show as it is. Oh no, like, I insane. remember people had doubts of it when it first... Oh, well, understandably. Back, back, back I was it, one of those people. Back when it came out, uh, when DC had their own streaming service. It was like, yeah, season, that, season that, one... Universe. Yeah, season one was on DC Universe, <laughs> like, and that just... It was, this, it was DC's attempt at, you know, having, like, their own Disney Plus, quote-unquote. Yeah. It didn't work. It didn't work, so it was like, hey, let's go to HBO Max, because, you know, that's where all the other Warner Brothers stuff is at, and... I think the one thing I was most skeptical about was Kaylee Cuoco voicing Harley Quinn. It works are, for whatever but damn reason. She's the and she's the second, and she's the second um, Big Bang Theory actor to voice Harley Quinn. Come any closer. Who's the first one? Uh, what's her name? Michelle Roche. Yeah, that's who played, it. Who played, oh, as, really? who played as uh, uh, Bernadette? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. When did yeah, she had done it in one of the movies, when... I think. Uh, yeah, oh, it was uh, okay. Batman, uh, Batman and Harley Quinn the animated movie. Oh, it had, it was uh, made by Bruce. It was made by uh, Bruce Tim and Paul Dini because um, Lauren Lester and Kevin Conroy returned to voice, and you can hear how Lauren Lester's voice has changed over the years when he was oh, sure. when he was voicing Night uh, Nightwing. Tried to give him his money back. Oh. Joker doesn't take yeah, that's, no for that, an answer. Yeah, it, that series is fantastic. But like I said, you know, games like this, the, the continuing sequels, the popularity, you know, Bruce is always getting refreshed, things like Injustice. Oh, yeah, Injustice uh, is another good one. Oh, it's so good that it got its own comic, too. Uh, oh, yeah. Player watchable, uh, sorry to interrupt, but like the uh, Telltale series, even. Don't open that. Uh -oh. I feel bad for I, I feel bad for Doctor <laughs> Young. Oh my God! You know, I know this game is like rated teen, but it like has, it's dark. I mean, and don't forget, Batman: Arkham Knight is the first rated M Batman game in the or in the Arkham series. Yeah. Well, look at the intro for that. Oh yeah. Some of them. Oh, that was pretty good intro. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're like you like you see, you're basic you're basically you're burning the Joker's corpse by pressing yeah. the Yeah. Oh. When, so my son-in-law uh -huh. and Brandon were right there the first time I went to go play it, and uh, you know you see him laying there, and I was like, okay, what am I supposed to do? And they're like, well, figure it out. So I started hitting the button, the flames came up, and I was like, oh no. And they're like, oh yeah, you got to so do that. Like, like, I don't want to do that. When you I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> uh, when you replay the when you replay the game, I think it's on uh, New Game Plus. Once you do that, you actually see the Joker's uh, eyes open and like laugh when, when he's oh, really? like, fully burnt. Yeah. I believe you have to wait till the music's fully played. Yeah. Through, and then you would burn. Then yeah. Oh, that yeah. is horrifying. Oh, just the whole thing about you know, 
pushing the button for the crematorium. I was like, I, I, I don't know if I, if I psychologically prepared to do that. You know, that was crazy. Well, prepared or not, apparently okay, you have I no think <laughs> if it's, I think Please. it's, I'm Oracle. not mistaken. I w no, I'm kind of curious. I want to see if I can't find it, but behind this wall, you see plans she died. Uh, for she Arkham City. Plant hidden somewhere uh, was it that wall? Yes, one of those walls. Think, yeah, so it, was, it, it was this wall because I don't think it was. I don't think it's this it's a wall. Biometric sequence yeah. Oh wait. Oh wait. Using a code it's always the back right off the wall by, by Joker in the safe explosion. Oh, that was a big cloud. Turns oh. out, Scarface. This red hood helmet I made for gates. Caleb. Okay. Who's gonna be red hood at Fan X? That oh, looks made really it? cool. Yeah, I made it. Oh no. Isn't the warden too old for a puppet cool. show? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? I had an EVA foam and a lot of layers of silicone. So, that looks pretty cool. If you can send me a picture, if I, and if I can show that. Oh, yeah. Because I like... That I, is awesome. I, I, Look how I, I, awesome he looks at his red hood. The dude is buff. I've come he to realize... Buff. Look I, at I, them. I, Look at... He's like this. That's his natural <laughs> muscle, by the so way. Me. The what? only part that's muscled is his I chest. The rest think... of it, that's his own muscle. Yeah. Did you find it? Uh, look, I... look, look. Oh, oh, oh. And I think you need all three to do it. I can't get my 3D printer to work to make a helmet. <laughs> I'm trying think... to help you, Karen. I think it's this I one. I need time to sit down and do it. Think three, two, one. Or blam. Nope, oh. wrong wall. No, it's this wall. It has to be. Well, apparently it doesn't have to be. I don't forget. <laughs> I think it's this wall. Yeah. Uh, right, Someone just messaged I don't me. remember. I, I didn't even find out about it until like YouTube. Later. YouTube, yeah, I, basically. I think yeah, it's got. I always look up the wall. There it is. Okay. Oh, oh, you found it, Brandon. Okay. Yay! This, this is like this really has like nothing really. This is just no. More but like... how crazy of an Easter egg is it to have the damn architectural blueprints and all that stuff in the city For, and uh, right yeah. there? Boom! Look at that. Yeah. Arkham okay. Asylum, and then oh, that is cool. Yeah, yeah right. It? It, like right here is the. Uh, I haven't seen that before. Yeah, well, Quincy Sharp's it, it... Gotham City proposal. It's like he's wanting to make, um, Arkham Arkham City. So this is basically. There like... it is. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this. So this was. So yeah, Ark. So. This is basically to let. I don't know how this was found, but I remember watching it on YouTube a few years ago. And this is basically rock steady. Yeah. Yeah. This is rock steady basically saying, "Hey, we're making this. We're in the middle. We're in the midst of making this game." They they, they teased that as well in um, Arkham City. If you go in that boat and you use your decoder thing, you'll hear like Scarecrow's voice, and you unlock a, a hidden door on a boat, and you'll see like um, a test subject of a uh, Arkham City inmate. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, and uh, if you don't catch on quite to that, even like with the faces painted on, on TVs mm -hmm. that he uses in Arkham Knight, uh, it's kind of hard to read, but there's a shipping manifest as far as ordering stuff, and on the name is Jonathan Crane. So that oh, gives okay. you kind of an idea that he's up to no good. Apparently someone found, I don't know how true it is, but apparently um, someone found Clayface's hideout in Arkham Knight. I don't oh, really? there's, 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 there's like a door that you can find and well like... I remember when the the one that you just found that room so it, yeah it was like years after this game had come out and I was like are these guys that far thinking or were they just that ambitious or what it's crazy and it wasn't DLC or anything Karen this this wasn't added in this was day one oh, release that was in there you can yeah. also you can also oh, find they just yeah. added it when they made it yeah, well, yeah, it wasn't added in they're as like, an Easter egg later on. So they're, they're like, they're basically yeah. like, we're, we're, we're being cocky, motherfuckers. So we're just yeah. gonna say, yeah, hey, we're, like, hey, we're gonna make, we're gonna make plans for a sequel because I think the sequel literally came out like a year or two after. Because I remember yeah, watching the, the I remember watching yeah. the cinematic trailer mm -hmm. on where it shows the, um, well, there was the first uh, cinematic trailer where it shows Arkham City, Arkham City, and you see Harley Quinn taking care of a sick Joker. Um, and then there's the other one where it shows, you know, um, a tiger guard being, um, being interrogated by Batman. That was like the second cinematic trailer. And I think we got an official trailer. And then shortly after that, once the game, I think it was like a, a month or two after the game came out, I was like, Hey, we're releasing this DLC where you can play as Catwoman. 
to finish to finish the story. And then they introduced the other DLC where it takes place like a week or so after the events of Arkham City where you're basically trying to stop Harley Quinn and save a bunch of GCPD officers. Yeah, like I said, they, they had their roadmap planned out quite well. Uh -oh. And I don't think anybody expected... Well, Origins notwithstanding. I don't oh, think they... Or, 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 origins... Eh. Yeah, I'm or, just saying... I don't origins, think they... Origins they, tried, and they even, yeah. try, they even tried more. It's like, hey, we're also adding this uh, multiplayer mode thing, too. But I'm just saying, considering where this had started, and what the idea originally was, uh, I don't know if anybody expected it to take off the way that it did, or it'd be as good. But, you know, when, when you... Oh, you I think with they it, did. Yeah, I was going to say... I feel I like as they're developing it. it and getting close to the end product... That's why they had that in there for the second game. Like, oh yeah, we know what we got. You know, the, my nobody could debate that, which is a rare thing to have that happen. It is. It my very only, much is. My only issue now is with the next game that they're bringing. Justice League kills. Uh, I mean, Suicide Squad kills the Justice League, which eh. is a oh, yeah. which is a continuation. A lot of people were happy and hyped. You know, drop in, drop out multiplayer. You know, you can play one of the characters to rest or NPCs. A lot of people were stoked and happy, but then people got started getting mad when uh, Rocksteady announced, "Oh, by the way, we're adding loot boxes, or whatever yeah, they're whatever, no. whatever whatever they're called." You know, the the paid. Nope. As long I'm as out. it's not a mandatory or like a really important thing, like oh, it just really it, helps you. It's then, more. I mean, it's, it's, it's more. I think it's more of like cosmetics, like what they're doing with Overwatch too. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, as long as it's not an important function to the the game, then I don't. I don't care. I would get the game, play it, be done with it. I really don't care about blue box stuff that much. Well, not unless they make it, you know, pay to actually play. You know, oh, you know what I mean? Oh God, no. Yeah. Hey, no, I, I'm not. I'm not a fan of uh, P2P. No. Oh, I. Hate yeah, because Battlefront Two was horrible. Oh, so, that... so I liked. So yeah. I liked. So the only thing I liked about Battlefront was the um, was the story mode. Sure. Yeah. Oh, story mode was great. Because, because it let it let up 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 to the events of um, Force Awakens. Sure. Yeah, it was a great killer one. Mm -hmm. And then the not, mention of Operation Cinder and the other and all that stuff too. Oh, yeah, yeah. All scanning. Yeah, it all ties in. Oh yeah, Operation Cinder like. Yeah. And I like how Operation Cinder is mentioned in The Mandalorian. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, it all becomes canon and ties in and stuff. So, after this long of this game being out, does it still feel as good and as, as smooth and responsive as it did back in the day? Yes. I first played this game back in 2000, and like a year after it came out, because I watched this okay. whole gameplay on YouTube. Yeah. Well, and a lot like, of people did. And I, I love this game. Like, I, like... This was like again. This is way before Xbox. You know, this is like you know way before the Xbox One was announced. Like they're like you oh, know sure. they're, they're in the process of like hey we're coming out with a new system soon. So because you know, four years later is hey we got this. Here's this new console now. Oh yeah, well the reason I was asking. <laughs> Because a lot of these uh, remasters went and tweaked the controls, and they went and redid stuff. Yeah, this but... this, this this HD version they made yeah. a lot of a lot of. I remember when this uh, cause this is a Return to Arkham. I remember when this game first came out. They made things smoother, but they also made things uh, certain things brighter, which was unnecessary. It's like I like that dark feeling. Yeah. Like you know. It's got to feel daunting, Batman. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, anytime like, it comes right? to lighting. If like, you like, look at this, it's like, in the game, this was like a lot darker. Like, certain parts of the game were darker. Oh, yeah, I remember being really dark. And that's well, the thing, you know, I can understand people having a hard time seeing sometimes. There are some games where it's like, oh, I oh, wish like, I could like, see it's the like, game. There, yeah, no, yeah, I play, play, I play it at night to see it. Okay, well, having it as an option is important. What you, what you got to remember, though, too, is when this came out, OLED TVs weren't much of a thing. 4K TVs were not broadly I mean, available. They, 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 so you no, didn't they, have they the were. HDR and the backlighting and all that stuff as available option. Yeah. So this the reason why they lift this up to to is because your HDR settings and uh, some of your backlighting you can adjust to your your uh, your specific monitor. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, that's why. Uh, we noticed that with uh, even the new Horizon and some of the others. Oh, it's because, oh, oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh. Yeah, it's really bright, but if you adjust it back down... 
it, it, you know, that's why you have like all those HDR settings at the beginning of most of these games because you adjust it to whatever particular monitor you have. That's oh, why they did a lot of that. Yes, yeah. and that's that's why a lot of them came out much brighter than what they were uh, so, in the initial release. I found out Horizon Zero Dawn was like in the making since like 2013, 2014. Something like that, yeah. Right, like yeah. right, like right when the yeah, huh? like right, yeah. like right when the so it was like when the PS4 was about to come out, or it been like been a year since it came out, and the PS3 was you know. Yeah. Well, but see, and then with these HD remakes, though, too, you know, you look at the lighting, the shadows. A lot of that wasn't there in the same way. Reflective surfaces. I, I, you're thinking that it was, but if you do a side by side, you will see where the HD stuff came in, and that's why I'm saying with these HDR settings, uh, you know, like Brandon, we've got a 4K TV, well, multiples now, but we didn't, you know, when this first came out, it was so the, wait, the, the one right next to me it was an LCD that at the time. High, high resolution or high def was 1080p. You, you couldn't run it and look as clean as it does now uh, with, uh, with that. A game like this, this HD version, is I think the sole purpose of these HDs were meant to be played on 4K TVs. Yeah, this, and that's this, my point. This, yeah. this, is a, this is a 1080p TV. Yeah, so it's still going to have that washed out brighter look because you can't adjust your HDR settings because it doesn't have it. No, so it looks closer. Well, yeah, that's what they've done on a lot of them. <laughs> Um, it, uh, even the the Resident Evil and stuff like that. I mean, this thing still looks fantastic. Is what I'm getting. And ultimately, it looked they met themselves in the middle. You get all the yeah. benefits of a, of a super high resolution, but you can still play it on an old 1080p, and it it still. That's why I was asking, does it still feel and look the same as it did back in the day? I mean, yeah, it does. <laughs> you know, it it does. Uh, oh, wait, where the hell am I yeah. supposed to? Go? Oh, it's fantastic, and it, it is a testament to how good the game was at launch. That they really didn't have to monkey with much at all just kind of accommodate some of the newer technology and they didn't mess with the control scheme. It still has that same great pacing. The look is still the same, you know, the, the, the everything. It's awesome. The HUD, all that stuff is fantastic. Oh, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah. You know, I haven't touched it in a while. The, uh, the only one that I thought was kind of weird was that um, Arkham Asylum VR that kind of had a weird... Oh, I, I remember when um, Arkham Asylum VR came out. It was... Yeah, yeah it was for the PS... It was for the uh, PS VR, PlayStation VR. Yep. And it was basically a... It was supposed to be like an in-between type of thing. It's real short, though. You went all the way through that, didn't you, Brandon? No, I watched the video of it. Oh, we that's never what it had was. it. <laughs> okay. uh, like what? At some point, I wouldn't uh, mind getting it. Arkham Asylum VR. It's it's well, hard it, to figure it, out it, what it, they're it, doing canonically, though. It, it, it was supposed to take place before the events of Arkham Knight. Okay. The, wait, wasn't that one the one that you showed me, Brandon? Yeah. And then the, like so many people died and oh, something. Who died? Sorry, Sorry. Sorry we're eating. Okay. Everybody, sorry. I like oh, I no. think in the VR oh, one. No. I think... you're, you guys, oh, you're are eating. Fun. You're going to burn well, how, your mouth how, horribly. How, I'm going to wait. What? How dare you eat food in front of us, Bri uh, was Ryan? It, <laughs> was it one of the Robins, Brandon? Yeah. Uh, well, spoiler alert for whoever, but yeah, uh, in that one, uh, Nightwing gets his neck snapped. That's right. <laughs> oh and, yeah, dude. It's uh, I think it ends up being because the whole thing. We did it. Yeah, so it's all. It's, yeah, it's basically. He looks in the mirror. It's basically like a nightmare induced thing. Yeah, and then I think okay. Robin, I think Tim, um, he, he, what, gets killed by Kurt. Oh. I, I think maybe he's there. I can't remember on, yeah, oh, I just remember the stuff that I In a cage, right, and Tim's on top of it, and Killer Croc escapes, and you just see him, like, oh, chop on. Oh, man. Uh, that, uh, it's been in VR, by the way. Speaking, speaking of uh, speaking of PC characters, Killer Croc got like a big massive upgrade in like, Arkham uh, and Arkham Knight. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I mean, when I when I saw when I when I saw what, when I saw what he looked like, it's like it was where you're playing as Joker, it's like that man's head. It's like, why the hell does Killer Croc look like that? Because that was before the um, that was before the uh, Most Wanted DLC. Yeah, oh. that was the that was the model they went with initially. Sure. Well, you know, um, that's another thing too. Since we, we were talking about, like, say, the Harley Quinn show and this and that, uh, and what I was talking about with the retellings of the origin stuff. Look at how drastic. Now, granted, Bruce has gone through a few changes here and there, size-wise, and you know, and that kind of stuff. 
But look at the redo of some of these characters. Like Scarecrow, for example. Look at how terrifying he is in this. And then the version, like, say, in the Nolan trilogy and in the animated series where he looks kind of cartoony. Uh, the oh, Penguin. Then, then there was, I'd say he kind of looked cartoony in, in this one. And like, he didn't get scary looking until night. I, what, but, but what I'm saying is, you know, they're redoing these characters. Personally, designs that have been iconic, but you this, still know who the fuck it is. Personally, Every time this, you see it. Personally, this version of Scarecrow is more scary than the one in Arkham Knight. Because in Arkham Knight... I don't know. Oh, well, they're they're all terrifying. Uh, but yeah, what I'm well, saying is all these re, re, redos. Well, I felt like with you know him disfiguring his face. Uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, they, they talk about they talk about the goons. Uh, to the goons, to, to the like the goons are talking about. Did you hear what Scarecrow did here? Or just what uh, Killer Croc? Yeah. But yeah, the costume changes, the character models change, and stuff. You buy it, and it's all redos of, of something that's been iconic for how long? And, you know, every time they do that, and, you know, look at Bruce in this one and the next couple of games. They uh, are weird and different, and I don't, I don't mean weird in the bad way, but how different they are from previous games or previous iterations and stuff. And that's, like I said, just a test, like like Spider-Man, when we do the PS, uh, the, the Spider-Man stuff, oh, when we it's go a back testament to, that. to the character. Yeah, it's a testament to the character that it's that iconic. You can do a lot to him and can push the line so far before, you know, you change I wouldn't just much. say it's that. I'd also say it has a big thing to deal with um, whoever is portraying him. Because I feel like in the case with Batman, in well, just about every medium, uh, the the people they've had behind as far as talent have given something great in, in any regard. Peter Weller did a great oh, job. Oh, yeah. Yes, he um, did. And then, uh, of course, I, I forget his name, but the guy from the... Uh, the office space, uh, as far as playing Batman. Oh, no. Diedrich Botter. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Yeah, he. Had... Diedrich Botter. Uh, oh, oh, D oh, D oh, Diedrich hey, Bader. Peter, Peter Man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Diedrich, uh, Diedrich Bader. Yeah, he voiced him in um, Batman vs. Batman Bold. And yeah. he, then yep. he also doesn't he also voice. And yeah. that's him in Harley Quinn. Yeah. Which so this is like that's like Diedrich Bader's that's second great. time coming back as like and a camp a campy yeah. style <laughs> of Batman. So you have those. Um, I didn't get too much into the Batman the TV show. I never got to know that one, but that, you know, those are all good. Conway has his oh, the uh, Batman is good. His good stuff. Um, when a Joker, when uh, John DiMaggio did the Joker, he brought uh, something really great to that too. Uh, while it's it's different, surprising. Like I hear I hear Marcus or like Bender, but it's still very different. So everybody who's come on, everybody who's come on has just brought something very different and unique to it, and it's all been good. Look at Kevin Michael Richardson, he voiced him in the Batman, like, or Joker with the Reds. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. I just think that it was If you don't know, if you don't know Kevin Michael Richardson, you can watch him. Does he? Yeah. Really? Yep, that's Kevin. Welker did some of the other stuff. Yeah. Yep, Kevin Michael Richardson is the voice of Goro, and, Fr and Frank Welker is the voice of that version of Shao Kahn, where they just basically, you know what, let's make Shao Kahn look human and just basically retcon everything. That's what happens when the director of the first film goes to work on something else, and you're struggling to find a director who's like, hey, can you direct this movie? Sure, what's it about? Well, it's about, it'd be about fighting and this and this and this. Okay, who are the characters? Like? Well, here's a list of characters. Pick whoever you want. Yeah. I mean... Okay, so with that rationale, Brandon, yeah. um, all the different voice actors for the video games and looks and stuff, so it's not the looks, it's, it's the performance? I'd and it's all so. character-driven? Okay. Well, we, well, okay, so the person's going to read Spider-Man. They, they acknowledge that, like, oh, okay, you've heard this before. You know. uh, mm -hmm. But... In the case of the Batman stuff, at least uh, for, sure, for sure, is that yeah, everybody who's come on seems to have, you know left something different behind and really added to that character in one way or another. Uh, I I'd even say some of the uh, animated stuff that we watched, uh, me and Samantha have watched. You want to talk about Sam? Uh, it's not, yeah, uh, any of the animated really stuff like Batman, Bad Blood, and stuff like that. Oh uh, yeah. That's not Kevin Conroy. But even that actor, you know, that's uh, some, that's that's something. Oh, Hera, I can't remember his name, are. but he played as the Last physical actor as uh, 
Albert Who as Albert Wesker in the live action I'll Resident Evil movies. I thought his voice sounded familiar. Yeah, I, my well, well, well like the the the, 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 the the first uh, time we see Wesker and the sequ and uh, the the first two films, because okay. after that they replace him with another actor because that actor is like actually doing, you know, kung fu stuff. Okay. So there's yeah two actors oh, played. Oh, that's right. They did. I forgot. And plus, I, I don't know what. What do you guys think about this version of Poison Ivy? I like this version of Poison. Uh, Version what? of Poison Ivy. <laughs> yeah. This Poison of Poison? Yeah, no, shush. They made her, they definitely made, you can definitely tell that after Asylum, I mean, after City's like, hey, we want to go with, we want to make everyone look more realistic. Well, yeah. Yeah, because like, this is like supposed to be kind of, car not really cartoonish, but like you can tell. A nice mash between realism and the, as well as keeping some of the comic book elements sure yeah and then you got arkham knight which is like you know fuck all that we're gonna we want to go with like realistic just like it's what they did after is what they did with like mortal for example mortal mortal kombat 11 and mortal kombat 1. Mm -hmm. it, it, they decide you know what we're, we don't want to do this campy looking cartoony comic -y type no thing. but we're gonna put some realistic stuff in a weird ass campy crazy over the top world and deal with it you know because it, yeah, it right. grounds it a lot better yeah well right. and that's kind of the reason why i was asking what i was about the characters and stuff um and i'm sure karen and samantha have the same opinion as brandon or pretty close anyway um it's because i've always said and i think we had talked about it on the first episode if not on one of the other uh, podcasts is that dc has always had really solid characters because they were based on mythology they're based on relatable Please, things they're based on stuff me. that people can just like catch on to really quickly without a lot of uh, crazy ass weird origin stories or you know all this hyper real stuff that kind of takes you away from it so they've always had really strong characters and it's what's done with them so w with what Brandon's saying is having a, a good solid performer with a good solid character no matter the medium it's going to leave something behind and it's going to make that impression and I think it's why there's such a longevity in guys like Batman and his rogues and Wonder Woman yeah, even rat rehashing the same stuff over and over yeah, again with slight like, tweaks, tweaks yeah Yep, because it's the same, but completely different. Exactly. It's a mistaken identity. Danger. Do not approach inmate by... Uh, do not approach. Inmate may be impersonating <laughs> other... So I didn't get that. I didn't get who this was for the longest time. I didn't but if, either. But if you like... Oh, God. Yeah, if you look, oh, it's, it's Clayface. Play face. If you look, see, oh. you know, like, a good chunk of the characters, you can see, like, their bones and everything. Yeah, yeah he doesn't have any. Yeah, yeah. Because he's kind of, yeah. He yeah, has a and, and, yeah. Someone, and someone pointed that out with the uh, Joker fight in Arkham City when you're fighting Joker and his base. If you um, press I'm the uh, you know the X-ray mode, it doesn't show any bones. I didn't know that. I didn't know what? that either. I didn't either. So well, again, uh, 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 nope. That's so you're not, cool. So you're not fighting Joker. Um, Brian Clayton. Yeah, you're fighting Joker. As oh, you're okay, fighting that is awesome. That's a nice little. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here's a... Very so, do you um, do you feel pretty much the same way, Karen, about all the different actors or performers for for the Batman and different mediums, or does it is it all dependent? Like, I did not like Batman Samurai or Samurai Batman. Or whatever. Oh, really... oh, 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 Batman Ninja. I oh, whatever the fuck it was, that was horrible. Yeah, it, yeah. that was terrible. I watched I... it. It's like, why am I watching this? I never I... saw any of that. It's not good. It was, it was a Sadly, really bad Batman, movie. Batman, that was a cash grab. That was Batman, fucking I mean, terrible. It wasn't bad. You got some great A voice actors. You had uh, Roger Craig Smith returning to voice Batman again. But oh no, that did not work for me at all. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, well, Roger, Roger Craig Smith, like his first time ever voicing Batman was in Arkham, uh, was in Arkham Origins as a younger Bruce Wayne. Well, for whatever reason, as good as people they had in that. That, oh, well. that fell flat, and I think it's it was, they tried a little it was, too much. It, it was interesting seeing a 3D anime style type. I will say, I will say, I will say, I will say that. Uh, I know the next an, uh, DC so anime project we're getting is um, Suicide Squad Isekai. Oh yes, I saw that trailer on YouTube. I was not expecting something like that. I actually look forward to watching that. Basically, the Suicide Squad get transported to a fantasy realm, hence it being an Isekai. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And Look, it, oh, well, oh, hell. Oh, no. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> you're boned. What are you waiting for? Cut oh, the loonies are out of the bin. 
You have failed the city then. Oh, right. Uh, do oh, I have the mafters. Oh, right. <laughs> Jensen Ackle doesn't do a bad job as Batman. Oh yeah, he's he voiced him in um, the long haul movie. Right. And then he voiced him in the yeah. terminal. He voiced uh, yeah, Jensen Ackle. So Jensen Ackle has done voice both Batman and Red Hood. Destroyed. He's yeah. voiced Batman sequencer. twice because what? Uh, oh, they made yes, another animated um, Batman movie in the same universe as the Long Halloween, it's where he returns to voice Batman. Yeah. yeah. And he, maybe that's he's why. That yep. that Batman Ninja didn't sit with me because of how many different varied types of uh, of There's appearances we've had between the, this video game here always. and the sequels, and you know the masterpiece that was Assault on Arkham and stuff like that. Uh, and then assault it, 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 on Assault. <laughs> assault on yeah, Arkham. Yeah, that was great. Really oh man, woo! That was a that was a <laughs> like edge of the seat freaking movie. I was like, God damn. So, you know, and then The Long Halloween and Hush and all that, those others that are even just adaptations of the comics, as well as all those were done and as varied as they are, you know, even Gotham by Gaslight and, and all I, that. That was pretty have, good, too. I have, I have yet to watch Gotham by Gaslight, but I heard... It's a great comic, too. I, I, I heard it. When I and don't it. forget, we did talk about how Gotham by Gaslight was supposed to be a video game, but they, they axed that project. Yeah, I didn't like the screenshots from that, but whatever. The gameplay but, wasn't... The gameplay for it wasn't bad. It was, like, the rough gameplay, like, hey, this is what... It could be like I think what they mm -hmm. were trying to do was trying to make it like the Arkham games. But... Yeah, mixed in with a little bit of Assassin's Creed and stuff, and it just didn't seem to quite work for it. But you know, to well, what I'm mean, saying is, what it really would have been if it finished. I mean, if you, for for example, Aliens, Clone Marines, right? Some of those earlier ones that were like on GameFAQs and other stuff with the screenshots looked are... way different than oh, what it are, ended are, up being. Oh, are you talking about Aliens, Clone Marines? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that I was remember... way different. It looked almost like one of those um, I those, found out... uh, arcade shoot 'em games. And I found that Alien. Stuff. I found out Alien Colonial Marine is a prequel to eight, this uh, second Alien, uh, the third Alien film. Yeah. Because that's not very good why... either. <laughs> no, it, unfortunately, it sucked. I actually would have rather the game look and play like how some of the earlier screenshots look like than what we end up with. Well, but that, and, I'm just that, saying, that... as far as how drastic. Oh, go ahead. No, no, sorry. Go ahead. I know where you're, you're, you're going. Go ahead. I want to keep on listening to what you had to say. Yeah, ultimately, just with how drastic of a difference uh, point A to B was, I was going to say this pretty much how that looked like with a, a Gotham by Gaslight was a. Uh, oh, that, well. It might yeah, have been that, something really good if it had gotten a chance to get polished. That but all I was getting at was that is well even, even the, if you Gotham by Gaslight had come out, that's still great. another example of something completely different than everything else we've got. And it was just such a. A, a, a heavy miss for Batman Ninja. To be there. I, granted, it's cool, little... whatever. Oh, yeah, there you go. Throw him. But, Sit your you know, ass down. other than some of the uh, really bad movie tie-in games and stuff, Batman's always had a pretty sp fairly solid library, even going back to the NES and the ZX Spectrum. And the oh, the and NES. Uh, okay, yeah, like, the like... Batman, the 89 Batman tie-in. Oh, well, it wasn't really high, but the Batman game was great. And then not to mention his, like, um... Like the original, like eight bit, like eight bit Batman, and don't forget, like the eight bit Spider Man game. I'm talking about like mm -hmm. the very first Spider Man game, where it's oh, like, oh yeah, where well, it looks like it, lo where it looked like they look like Tetris pieces. Mm. Yeah, Spider Man on Atari. Yeah, yeah, you're probably thinking of the Atari <laughs> one. Yeah, that, That's bad. That, that Which was... I think I actually played that growing up, and we yeah, it did. was uh, difficult. So, and it was also hilarious. it's also kind of funny that they uh, that they show the uh, Spider Man Atari game characters in the uh, uh across the spider-verse movie in that one do scene. they yeah spoilers by the way <laughs> okay gonna, okay i heard about that. like the the uh the first like playstation one spider-man or the pc one uh Surprise! oh god yeah that one's supposed to be we're, in there like, we're like uh you know that speaking of ps1 spider-man i can't get around the fact that venom looks blue and the Does ps1 spider-man <laughs> game yeah that's probably a hard limitation well <clears throat> So, you know, one way or the other, uh, every iteration of, 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 of Batman, for the most part, has stood above almost everything that they've done with Superman, with Diana, uh, to some extent the Flash, because they can never seem to lock them down in other mediums besides comics, I mean, solidly. You know, um, Oliver's another one. Yeah, the fat. Well, I was going to say, Oliver's show was pretty good, but it's been... Oh, the, uh, the, green, the Green Arrow yeah. show on CW. Yeah, 
know, no matter where you throw him. I don't even have side stories that don't have anything related to him. Oh, okay. Um, you, you know, Gotham or that uh, Pennyworth show and stuff like that. That he's oh. not even in. Pennyworth. Pennyworth. I will say it's good. I haven't watched. I haven't finished watching the new season. I didn't know he got his new show. Yeah. Uh, uh, so Pennyworth uh, was on Stars or Showtime. I think it was Showtime. Yeah, Stars or Showtime, and then Max was like, "Hey, we're gonna we'll pick it up, guys." They were like, a, they were like, a, they, were like a, they were like a season two win for HBO Max. Uh, just like what um, Netflix did with uh, Lucifer. Yeah. Ne uh, the, it was on Fox. Fox is like, hey, is that as easy we, we can't as do this looked? anymore. Huh. We're sorry. Well, we can't air this so anymore. So, you know, whatever. Me. So it's like Netflix like, hey, we'll pick it up and finish, finish it for you guys. And I think, honestly, it ended on a good note.